Hello everybody, Becky Brett here, your intuitive executive coach for Creative Souls. I am here with our reading for this week, beginning Monday, uh, November 8th. Monday, November 8th, yeah. Here we are in November. It's, um, if you are in the United States, we just uh, fell back out of daylight savings time and um, it's dark, pitch dark earlier than usual or earlier than we have gotten used to over the summer um <clears throat> and i am here um you know just trying to <laughs> focus trying to focus on uh on a reading for this week so here we are labyrinth oracle cards created by kathy and walter Pol walter pullen and um what let's see what we need to release receive and then integrate this week also, I'm Instagramming live right over there. If you follow me on Instagram, or if you don't, please do follow me. I am BeckyBrett.live on Instagram. I'd love to see you over there. All right. In the release position, we have the King of Arches or leadership. Hmm. Interesting thing to let go of. Okay. Receive, we have the brick or intellect. And in the return or integrate position, we have the trap door or surprise. Surprise! Look, not all surprises are bad. Some surprises are good. Uh, um, let's just see what's going on here. I am intrigued. As if like the previous week wasn't enough for us. Uh, we've got more to deal with. All right, releasing King of Arches. Arches, uh, are the actions we take and in a leadership role which a lot of my um a lot of my audience is um <clears throat> what do we need to let go of here maybe we need to let go of being out front out in front for once let someone else take the lead um especially if you are mentoring people trying to groom people um, here's something I don't believe that I as a leader should be irreplaceable like that's just a recipe for stress and um, and collapse of your organization eventually right because you may want to move on you may get uh, hit by a bus or you may win the lottery and not want to work anymore I don't know you want to go off and build um, uh, I don't know wells you want to dig wells you know, like provide water for people. Think about all the ways you are holding on too tightly to your leadership. And I invite you to loosen the reins a bit. In the receive position, we have the brick or intellect. And so what do we need to receive? We need to, uh, we need to receive I mean, it looks like information, but it's information that you can build on. So it's not just like random bits of info. Um, something that we do in that, that we do in improv is we don't show up to a scene with the whole scene. You know, we build the scene brick by brick. We build relationships brick by brick. Um, we we build a lot of things one brick at a time and all you need to know is the next brick that's all you need and so maybe don't get too far ahead of yourself with this um with your intellect i know if you're anything like me um potential overthinker and you may just like zoom right ahead like past any um logical points of uh i don't know of knowledge and um and go into the area of like fortune telling or mind reading and those are never yeah i'll use that word never particularly helpful so instead build brick by brick build your knowledge base whatever it is you need to know build it brick by brick instead of trying to have all of it at once then we have <laughs> I'm going to be honest, this card is hard for me because one time when it appeared for me in um, 
a reading I did for myself. I made it almost to the end of the night without any major surprises. And then I fell off my silks, literally doing what she's doing right here at like 1130 at night. And I hurt myself. This is a hard card for me. I'm being completely honest with you. Uh, however, okay, so it's a trap door, not a trap. It is um, saying to me that when you integrate these, like integrate the king of arches energy, in integrate the brick energy, you may be surprised. In fact, you probably will be surprised. <laughs> you may be, so how are we gonna, how are we surprised? Probably, I don't wanna say probably because that would ruin the surprise. Um, but think about like, maybe you'll, maybe you'll be surprised at who steps up if you leave some room in your leadership um, for other people to step up and contribute in that way. Um, you may be surprised at how the bricks start stacking, the bricks of your intellect start stacking and what you create with it. Um, you may be surprised by the universe dropping something really amazing in your lap. And um, imagine if you hadn't released the um, need to control things, um, you wouldn't be available for what the universe wants to hand you. So these are a few ways you could be surprised. Um, like I said, it doesn't have to feel like you're, it may feel like you're falling, um, but it could also be, um, you may have a soft landing down there. You know, it's not always gonna be a hard floor like it was for me that one night. Um, okay, so the reading is anchored by stairs or effort. Oops, there we go. And so it's not going to be easy for you to let go of a little bit of your leadership. Um, it's not going to be easy for you to let go of control. Um, it may not be easy for you to be patient at building the thing brick by brick. And it might um, take a supreme effort to be excited about whatever surprise drops in your lap or whatever surprise you drop, you are dropped into. Uh, <clears throat> it is, um, this card is saying though, that it is worth it. It is worth it. You'll get there. It's worth the effort. You're going to be okay. <laughs> this is what I want to say here. <laughs> You're going to be okay. Oh my God, this is a tough one. This, I was hoping for something easier, but I didn't get it. No, we got the reading we got. Um, so I'm going to pull one more card from the Sacred Creators Oracle because um, this deck is, is very sweet and nice and um, most of the time. And uh, I feel like we could use like maybe a sort of some kind of uplifting message right now. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, look, letting go of control of the outcomes, that's what this whole reading is about. Um, and it's not going to be easy for you, but it will be worth it. And that is like, personally, you've heard me say this probably a million times. That is my life's work. Letting go of control of the outcomes. That I think that's what was so hard about the this past week for me is like, there was so much out of my control. And like, there was one inspired day when I was in Hawaii back in September when someone asked me if I was scared. And I said, um, well, there's so much that's unknown. What is there to be scared of? Um, I forgot that I had said that until recently, like until very recently, until about 12 hours ago, I think. Um, I forgot that I had said that and that I had actually felt that. And I meant it when I said it because um, lately uh, I have been pretty fearful. I'll be honest. But like now I, I, here I am on the other side of that fear and how did I get through it? Radical trust in the universe, co-creation with the universe. Um, some, uh, tactics that I've learned in, um, in my coaching certification program, like EFT, which is tapping, um, which I just facilitated tonight for somebody. So, you know, there are lots of ways that you can get through a stressful time and get on the other side of it. If you um, need some help with that, let me know. 
by uh, leaving a, a comment or you can email me becky at beckybrett.com okay i'm gonna pull i've shuffled this i've probably shuffled this deck enough let's see what it has to say okay it's upside down oh my gosh i'm gonna sneeze okay no i'm not gonna sneeze i might sneeze give me a sec Whew. okay uh this card came out upside down which is means it's a self-care message and it says external validation I thought this deck was nicer. No, it is nice. It's a good, it's a good message. It's a valuable message. Uh, if it's, if it's hitting you in a certain kind of way, oops, hey, Oakley, we're okay, honey. Uh, if it's hitting you in a certain kind of way, then this is for you. External validation. The self-care message is paying too much attention to naysayers, listening to opinion as if it is fact, worrying about what others might think, the addictive nature of needing praise, and addiction to social media. Okay. Hmm. Let's take a deep breath together. I'm ready. Look, before I go forward, <laughs> I've got to be perfectly honest with you. External validation is something that I... Uh, very much struggle with so here we are with this message okay on one hand external validation can build you up and give you the encouragement and support to continue positive external validation whispers we love it continue we want more it can be wonderfully supportive and reassuring and offer glimpses into what's possible for the future in this way, external validation can be a driving force for your success. Yet, on the other hand, it can be terribly addictive and become far too important if you give it too much power. It's important to learn how to tune it out in order to tune in to your own vibe and creative north. This is especially true when others don't understand your vision or when you're doing something totally new. The abs, I'm smiling so big because this is, I love this message so much for us, given everything else. I do love this message for us. Uh, the absence of external validation can be a creativity killer if you find yourself unable to move ahead without it. It's time to know thyself and to rely on your own acumen and intuition as you decide something's value. You decide something's value. No one else gets to decide that. Accept the positive when it's there and in its absence, be your own cheerleader. Allow your own potential to inspire you and tune out the noise of external validation whenever it's not gifting you joy. Throw a headset on, light a candle in your heart, groove to your favorite drum beat and relax. Your unique gift for seeing the world in your unique way will guide you. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So what this says is you do you. Don't worry about what anybody else is saying because you've probably been too focused on that, right? and let go let go control the outcome build the this coming week brick by brick with patience um be open to how the universe wants to surprise you it could be amazing and yes it's going to take some effort to do all of this but you've got this you can do it you can all right i'm feeling okay I hope you're feeling okay too. If you're still sort of palpitating a little, if your heart is racing, let me know in the comments what that what this all means for you. Um, because since it's a general reading, you know, I talk about what the cards mean, but I would love to hear how it's resonating in your world. All right. I love you guys. You've got this. We've got this as a community. Support each other in the comments and I will see you next week. Bye for now.